Let's talk about how we create and mate involute spur gears in Alibre. In the part modeling environment, we'll start by going to the script tab and launching our Python console. And we'll go down to examples, mechanical, and execute the gear generator. We have the default gear of 20 teeth with a pitch diameter of 30 and a pressure angle of 20. We'll go ahead and generate that and we've made an involute gear. Let's note one thing before we go on. I have my calculator here. We have uh, 30, so we have 20 teeth, and we have a pitch diameter of 30, so we're going to divide 20 by 30, and that gives us 0.6 repeating, and we're gonna keep that value in our back pockets as we'll need that later. I'll finish up, we'll go to model. We'll give this a fun color and I'll add a hole in the gear. So we'll create a new part and we'll want this next gear to mesh with the gear that we've already made. To do that, we'll come down to our Python console. We'll go down to examples, mechanical, and activate our gear generator again. This time, let's say we want it to have 10 teeth, but how do we know uh, what pitch diameter to use so that it will mesh with the other gear. Well, we'll go back to our calculator and we'll simply divide the number of teeth we want by the previous gear's pitch. So our last gear, we had a pitch of 0.6 repeating. So we're gonna say 10 divided by 0.6 repeating. And that gives us a value of 15. So we'll go to our pitch diameter. We'll give it a value of 15. And now we know that it will mesh with the gear that we've just made. We'll do the same thing. We'll give it a fun part color. And now we might want to ask ourselves, how far apart should we make these gears? I'll start uh, another new file. And this time I'll draw a little part for the gears to rotate on. Make sure that each circle that the gear is going to rotate on is going to be equal with the next one. How far apart should they be? Well, one, <clears throat> one gear has a uh, pitch diameter of 30, but we only care about half of that. And then we're going to add on the next gear's pitch diameter of 15, but we only care about half of that as well. So we basically have 15 plus 7.5. And that is the ideal distance that these gears will be apart. We'll add a symmetrical constraint. We'll add in a diameter. And we'll add in a coincident. And now we're fully defined. So we'll simply deactivate that. And then I'll sketch on this plane. I'll insert an aub round shape right there, and we'll make our X dimension something like 30, and our Y dimension, how about eight? And we'll apply that. We'll deactivate and extrude that a distance of negative two, and then we can make an assembly with these parts. So here we are in the assembly environment. We'll insert design and choose the base that we've modeled. We'll make sure that this part is anchored and then we'll insert our gear. And we'll insert our other gear. Next, we'll add a constraint here and here. Make sure that these faces are coincident. And now we want to ask ourselves, when we go to rotate this gear, well, I'll add another coincidence. There we go. When we go to rotate this gear, how do we get it to mesh and spin the other gear? Right. Well, I'll move the teeth so that they're meshing pretty nicely. And then I'll move, switch to the mechanical tab over here. 
and we are asked about adding gear geometry. So we'll choose a circular face here, and then for the next gear, a circular face here. And then we're asked to define the gear size. And the easiest way to do this is by number of teeth. So for gear one, that has 20 teeth, and gear two, that has 10 teeth. And once I apply that, our gears are meshed um, appropriately so that they'll be able to spin in a very realistic way. So we've been able to uh, learn how to generate gears, learn how to set their ideal distance apart, and mate them in a way that they move very realistically. I uh, hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe to the Libra channel. See you in the next video.